needlessly use V trigger. So, all right. Now then, um, his frame traps, his meaties, his combos. We've come into the intermediate portion. So we're almost done. We're practically almost done. We've covered all the basic tools. Uh, we're gonna talk about those, and then we're gonna go into the advanced portion with a few mix up, with a few mix ups, and neutral game, and that's it. Uh, if if there's there'll be time for Q and A after. So I'm still good. I still got people in here. I, 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 I just need people in here for the Q&A as well, so that way everyone can have a chance to figure out and learn, so and, and get things cleared up uh, with the game and with Nash. So all right, intermediate stuff, intermediate stuff. So let me have him guard all, and we're gonna do some frame. We're gonna do some uh, frame trap stuff first. The combos are the last thing that I want to talk about. Um, so, first, frame traps, right? So, a frame trap, right, is when you hit somebody with a move that is set positive, but leaves enough of a gap for them to press a button, right? Um, so, if you let me see, what what's this? This crouching medium kick, right? I need jab. There we go. That's three frame right there. So that is a frame trap. What I'm doing. I'm not doing the target combo. And I discussed this earlier in the in the stream. The target combo is minus two, so I can block after this, but I cannot press a button afterwards. With Ryu, his standing jab is doesn't go that far. But other characters with a longer three frame jab will stop me. Um so yeah, uh, maybe I can get him to do, let's have him do crouching, so I can illustrate my point better. There we go. So yeah, see it's counter hit. So what I am doing is a frame trap. This is the first frame trap. It's an easy one. It's, it's standing light kick, back medium kick. Now standing light kick, right? That leaves, I'm gonna just cover this right now so that way people know. This is the first example. So standing light kick is plus three on block, right? It's plus three on block. My opponent can't press anything to this initially. He can't. The mind game is setting it up with the target combo because it is minus two. So if they press a button during this link, they it, their button will be stuffed because my back medium kick starts up in five frame. However, because of the advantage of standing light kick, which is three frame, I am able to punish the jab because my back medium kick becomes two frames on its startup. And Ryu's crouching jab, I believe, is three frame. So he cannot press a button. He can't press a button at all from this. Even if this jab was three frame and this came out on frame three, right? If this started, if a startup became three frames, I would still stuff it because of normal priority. Uh, but that's what a frame trap is, right? I'm stuffing his normal before. I'm stuffing his normal on a frame at which it, sh at which it can be punished by a normal that starts up sooner than theirs. So this is another one. Crouching medium punch is plus two on block, right? The standard, this is standard, so like if you do crouching medium punch, crouching medium punch, it's a six frame startup move. But if you do another crouching medium punch, it's four frame. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe maybe Ryu's crouching crouching jab is four frame. I'm I'm messing up with that. But it still proves my point that this first frame trap right here is a uh, two frame start it's two frame. So they can't press a single button on this. So, yeah, that, that uh, crouching medium punch and the crouching medium punch can stuff four frame jabs uh, because there's a four frame gap. Oh, see, he hit me that time. Huh. Let me have him do a uh, stand jab because that's three frame. So if he does a four, basically this will stuff four frame normals. If you do crouching medium punch, crouching medium punch. 
It will not stuff a three frame normally. Reuse Crash Jab is four frame, by the way. His only three frame is there. Thank you. I'm sorry, Travel. I'm sorry. I didn't want to do that. Um. Oh, it's not the deuce. Uh, deuce, 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 it's not from the, the playlist. It's from, I mean, it's not from the, the Nightbot playlist. It's from my own playlist. Anyway, I'll, again, save the questions for after. Uh, no, not trying to offend. So, yeah, his jab is four frame. I'm sorry, I, I keep getting it confused. It's, it's my bad. So since his jab is four frame, this will stuff it. You see this? This is a four frame gap. This is a four frame gap. Meaning, because this starts up in six frames, right? If I and it's positive two on block, it's positive two on block. So if you do the math, the next crouching medium punch becomes four frame. It's not six frame. So I will stuff the normal and get a punish. That is a frame trap, right? Because it's hitting, it's hitting on frame four, and it's beating out a light normal because it's hitting on the same frame, right? Uh, another frame trap you could do is also with uh, back medium kick, right? If you do crouching medium punch to back medium kick, it stuffs three frame normals. So let me have Ryu do a stand jab. See, he stuffs me out of it because this jab is three frame, right? So what am I going to do? How am I going to stop this? You do back medium kick, because back medium kick hits on three on frame three. Because you are plus two from the crouching medium punch. So back medium kick will stuff out Ryu's standing jab. And any three frame standing jab uh, character. Or any three frame normal. Any three frame light normal. Right? Um, These are frame traps that utilize the normal priority system again. So that's why it's a frame trap. And you want to mix it up. So if you see that your opponent is stopping you out of this frame trap, you then do the back medium kick frame trap instead. Alright? It's just a mind game. Um. What else? Uh. There's a lot of frame traps. Like, he has a lot of frame traps. Um. That in and of itself is a frame trap too. Because standing light punch, right? Standing light punch is three frame is is plus three on block and this is six frame startup is standing medium punch so it becomes a frame trap right that's the target combo which is minus six however if you link it if you link this it is a frame trap and it stuffs out the jab now I think a most the most common frame trap that everybody thinks about with Nash is from Crouching Heavy Punch. Crouching Heavy Punch is plus three on block as I've stated before, right? But I get stuffed out. Because another frame trap I'm trying to show you is Crouching Heavy Punch, Standing Heavy Punch. This is a common frame trap that most Nashes use. And when most Nashes start out, they try to do this against players like Ryu or Chun-Li or, or Karen who have three frame jabs. This frame trap is a four frame gap frame trap. What that means is that you will be stuffed out of your standing fierce before it comes out because your standing fierce does not start up fast enough even with the advantage to stop reuse jab, reuse standing jab because this is a four frame gap frame trap. So what you need to do instead is crouching heavy punch back medium kick because crouching heavy punch back medium kick crouching heavy punch is plus three right and your back medium kick is five is five frame so it becomes two frame startup alternatively you can do standing medium punch standing medium punch is another frame trap that you could do and it starts up in three frames because it initially starts up in six frames but because of the positive frames from crouching heavy punch you can frame trap. Another frame trap, I believe, is crouching medium punch. Crouching medium punch is the same has the same property. Now the difference between doing this and this is this. Right? 
on counter hit, this will work. Same with this. On counter hit, both of these will work. Normally, as I've discussed... Whoops. Let me have him block all. No, that's not gonna work. Let me turn off the... Yeah, so... See, it won't combo. It won't combo if they block it. And it won't combo... I mean, it... I mean, it won't combo if it hits, right? On, uh, first attack only. See, it won't combo. Because this initially does two... This initially does two hits. Right? Uh, but when it's comboed... It does three hits. Right? So, I mean... Alright. So when you get... Basically, when you get a frame trap off like that, it won't matter which medium punch, uh, goes into Tragedy Assault. Because both will go into it. What I what I just want to uh, reiterate is that crouching medium punch should usually be the one you go for when you want to go into tragedy assault or back medium kick. Uh, it, it's it's very uncommon to see Nashes do light tragedy assault from a standing medium punch because most of the times most Nashes will be thinking of getting the heavy Sonic Scythe for the confirm. Uh, you have to react to that being a counter hit. So, because this normally by itself is not, does not cancel into light. It doesn't cancel properly into light tragedy assault. So that's what I'm saying. But that's another frame trap. You got three frame traps from this. All from your crouching medium punch. Because they will all stuff the jab before it comes out. Um. And. Another thing, it may not work on three frame. It may not work on three frame characters if you do standing fierce after the, the crouching fierce. But on a four frame character who has a four frame jab, <clears throat> it will work. It will hit on frame four, and you will get a big punish. So on characters with four frame jabs. You can do this safely. That includes the mirror match. Because j if the jab is 4 frame and standing heavy punch is hitting on the same frame as that light, you're going to beat out that normal. So yeah, that's just just understand the the, the that frame traps have specific uh that frame traps have specific gaps and to know all of them. Um Oh yeah, I know crouching heavy. The the crouching heavy punch stuff should work off of knockdown if you meaty the crouching heavy punch, right? Is that what you're specifying? If you're talking about the crouching heavy punch, the standing heavy punch, right? I, I'm not talking about a meaty in this case. I'm just talking about getting a regular frame trap off on a, on an opponent who's standing. I'm not talking about meaties just yet. Um. Yeah, this is another frame trap too, because this standing light kick, standing light kick has three frames of has three frames of advantage on block, right? Which means this starts up in seven frames. Your standing heavy punch starts up in seven frames, right? So you do the math. So three, so four, so seven minus three is four, meaning that your standing heavy punch will punish any four frame jab any four frame light normal so just just understand that um what's up gabe so yeah just understand that the difference with frame data that's why when i had when i what i had said before about in the youtube video you need to know frame data you need to know frame data to understand this uh, so yeah, I, I explained that frame trap. You could do off of standing light kick. You could do a lot of things because it, of its frame advantage. And yeah, that's another frame trap. Uh, standing light kick to crouching medium punch. Standing light kick to standing medium punch. Standing light kick to back medium kick. Standing light kick to st standing heavy punch. Yep. 
Uh, those are some of the frame traps of standing light kick. Uh, I believe... Yeah, you could do the same scenario with uh, standing light punch. Standing light punch is also three frames on block. So... Um... Crouching light kick, I believe is also... I think crouching light kick is also plus... It's plus one on block. So... Your, your crouching medium punch becomes five frame. So it'll get hit beforehand. But you could do back medium kick, I believe. Should work, because it's five frame. Yup. So you do crouching light kick to back medium kick. And it stuffs the four frame normal, because it starts out on frame four. Because crouching light kick is plus one on block. Um... What else? Of course you got crouching light kick to stand jab. Because stand jab becomes three frame. So crouching light kick stand jab. That becomes three frame. And that's also a combo. Same thing with crouching jab. Because crouching jab starts up on frame four. So crouching jab starts up on frame four. But because of the advantage of crouching light kick. It becomes three frame. Uh, crouching light punch. So... Um, there are other meaty setups, not meaty, there are other frame traps I do want to discuss too, um, but those are some frame traps that you guys can look over, uh, th those will stuff jabs, um, what else, I believe that that's most of the frame traps you want to know, um, there aren't really, you don't really, you don't really find yourself doing a five or six frame trap, frame gap, frame trap. Uh, th those are kind of, those are not as tight. Those are more loose and you can't really call those frame traps in the end. Frame traps have really tight gaps, but tight enough for an opponent to press a button. Uh, and that's the whole purpose of it. Um, so meaty setups now. Uh, let me start up. First off, let me get a, a drink of water because I've been talking for about two and two and some change. How many viewers are here so far? Seventeen. Good shit. You guys are still here. Don't worry. I'm gonna get to the juicy stuff real soon. Just give me one second, guys. Get myself some water. <laughs> 